Oh yeah. Look at, take a look at this bad boy. I'm gonna, whoo, that is pretty. Okay. Oh, that is thick. This morning, I couldn't decide if I wanted to cook this in the smoker or if I wanted to cook in the oven. So I thought I'd go to Instagram and ask you guys and it is decision time and it looks like, looks like oven one, 69% for oven. But yeah, I like to see what you guys, and I know, you know, I know a lot of my followers don't have smokers. Almost everything you can do in the smoker, you can do in the oven. You're just gonna lose that smoky flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven now to 225 degrees while, right before I um, season this because I want to get it hot. We'll get hot in here. Look at this. Like, let me let me in comparison. This is on my arm. This could be my shoulder. Like, look, two arms. No, this thing's amazing. I went ahead and salted this last night. I just put a little healthy layer of salt on there to help break down the proteins, really render the fat. You can actually see on the fat on the top where I put the salt. I'm gonna be cooking this in the oven at 225 degrees. I can't give you an exact time because I go by temperature when I'm dealing with big cuts of meat. I'm gonna guess about an hour and 20 minutes, seeing as it's a four pound steak. All right, let's get to seasoning. So I told you guys last night I did some salt. I'm gonna do some more salt. I'm not gonna do too much, but I'm gonna do a layer over the whole thing. We're gonna crack some black pepper here. All right, we got some garlic powder. I got some paprika. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. Now this is a big cut of meat, so don't be afraid to season it. Let's see how thick this thing is, shall we? So two and a half inches thick. We're looking at 10 inches long. And with the bone, I mean, you know, we're looking at 19, 20 inches long. And then we're looking at what? Six inches wide. What's the square footage of this steak, babe? Okay, all right, back to the seasoning. So just go ahead and roll that around on the cutting board. Go ahead and mop everything up. And I'm probably gonna just season it a little bit more myself because it ain't gonna hurt. All right. I'm gonna use this shallow pan with a wire rack in it. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because when I put the steak here on the rack, it allows the heat to go under the steak as well and cook under it as well. If I had just put this straight on this pan like this, it wouldn't allow this side of the meat to cook evenly and, and allow the air to circulate underneath there. So that's why you wanna lift it off the pan just a little bit. So I like to put maybe like a sprig of rosemary right on top, um, a clove of garlic crushed up on the top, just to kinda, just to get those aromatics in the oven. Okay, so I've got my meat thermometer here. I'm just gonna stick it in the middle of the ribeye, about halfway through, try and get it right in the center. Keep it in the oven at 225 degrees until it hits 130, which is about medium rare at that temperature. Okay. Forgot to mention, I had some thyme. I either sometimes use rosemary or sometimes use rosemary and thyme. I forgot I was gonna use this on the steak as well, so I'm just gonna put this in the steak. Too. Would you say you use it sometimes? Leave. All right, it's hit 130. I'm gonna go pull it out of the oven. And I've got my sear ready, it's smoking. You can see it here. It's ready to be, to be seared. Ooh, this looks beautiful, guys. Okay. All right, so it was in there. I pulled it at the temp, uh, 130 internal temp. I'm gonna take my little garnishes off here. I've got my sear ready. And I've got some garlic herb butter here. I'm gonna use as my basting oil. I'm just gonna give it a nice little layer here. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna see that for about a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the top. That's a juicy steak. Oh, and it smells so good.
That's beautiful. Just an extra char on the edges. I'm gonna do that for a minute. Make sure you have something to set the steak on once you finish searing it so it can rest. Oh, yep, that's the That's the sun. Steak's ready. Get us in the kitchen. All right, I'm gonna let this rest for 10-ish minutes, 10 to 15, since it's such a big cut of meat. Okay, guys, I've let this rest for 10 minutes. Made a hollandaise sauce. I've got my smoked corn here. Uh, recipe should be right up here somewhere. And then some baked potatoes. Those are always a classic. Um, all right, I'm gonna cut this bad boy open. Ooh. Yeah, wow, it's right. Let's see, I'm gonna cut it off the bone. Try to go here. There we go. Mm. Bone, we say that for the dogs in the house, Travis included. Okay, let's cut this bad boy open. I'm gonna cut off this little piece right here. It's got some fat in there, but man, looking right. All right, we're gonna give her a cut and see how it is. Oh, wow. Um, no, wow, this looks so perfect. I was going for a medium rare and I hit it. I absolutely hit it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut a piece, give her a try. I'm gonna give Travis a try, myself a try. Maybe I'll let the dogs have one or two. Give it a go. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's the best one you've ever made. Oh my god. All right, one more go. One more go. Here you go, baby. One more. Cheers. Uh, oh, here you did. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Do it. Wow. This is the only way, I promise. This and the smoker. Well, I'll show you that one later. But... Every penny. This is awesome. I am, I am so pleased with the turnout of this. It ended up taking an hour and 45 minutes to cook this steak, uh, but it, it was worth every single second that we had to wait. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> so you wouldn't do anything differently? I would never do anything different. I mean, I would, because I'm an experimental lady. But yes. if I was trying to impress some people, this is the way I would do it. This is the dogs, but I'm gonna eat one first. Mmm. Oh, I want a bite of that. Give me, give me a bite. <laughs> oh my god. There's something so primal and satisfying about eating off a big bone. It's so tasty. One of the perks to a tomahawk is you have a built-in dog treat. Tank says it was good. Okay, everybody says it. Okay guys, thank you so much for sticking around for the end of the episode. Like, sometimes we will. <laughs> like sometimes. Not always, because you guys are gonna run my life. I get to pick recipes sometimes. But like, sometimes you guys get to pick the recipes. Remember to write your suggestions in the comments. I will be adding them to my Chef Had a Suggestions. And I will be dropping them into the Chef Had a Suggestions. Am I above it? You are above it. Okay, here we go. All right, we're gonna mix them up. What are we gonna get? All right, I'm gonna get this one right here. Hold on. Oh, what is it? <laughs> Another huge cut of meat. Brisket. Yes! I love the chef had a suggestion. Uh, My wallet does not love this. We are gonna go broke before this channel ever takes off. The tomahawk was like, what, 80 bucks, babe? So. Yeah. Okay, all right. Smoke brisket. This channel might run us broke. Uh, hey, but you can help me. You can. You guys can help. Hit that like and subscribe button. The more you guys watch me, the more I can provide you with awesome cuts of meat and content. One like equals one pound of brisket. No, one like yeah. we, equals one ounce of brisket. If we get 50 likes on this video, we'll get a 50 pound brisket. Travis is paying for it. <laughs> I'm just the video guy.